So, how do we create words? You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Coming up on Atmosphere of Love. How do Satan attack people? He put fear first. When fear is there, they speak fear. They get it. Hello? Fear there. When we are born again, we are given knowledge of God's word. We know when we speak, we don't speak ordinary words. We should speak faith filled words. We should speak faith seasoned words. I call it atmosphere of love. Words are created out of abundance in the heart. Words are created. One more time. Words are created. Words are created. Words are created. Now listen. Powerful words are created out of abundance of the heart. Destructive words are also created out of abundance of the heart. Now, I don't know about you. Maybe, maybe most of you lived with Angel Gabriel. But I didn't. Angel Gabriel wasn't my neighbor. He may have visited me sometime, but he wasn't my neighbor. Maybe some of you, you are Angel Gabriel's neighbor or cousin. But I knew when they told me some words, my stomach boiled. It was boiling like a hot curry. I don't know about you people. While I was growing up, it was boiling. The words I spoke out of that boiling stomach. Oh, you. <laughs> they boiled the people. Are you there? Have you ever seen anybody like that? When they are hungry like this. It's already boiling, you know. And when the word come out, you will know that they were boiling. Why? Because abundance. Why? <laughs> Negative abundance. You are blessed. Let the blessing be abundant where? In the, In the heart. When you speak it, it will come to pass. When you speak it, it will come to pass. It should be where first? In the heart. He say, he say, I was healed. I was healed. How do you know you were healed? Satan will stroll with one fever into your room. Say, you were healed, right? Okay. How do you know you were healed? He just embraced you with one cold. Start sneezing. Push, 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 push. I do there's explosive on your head. You know? And then you just said you were healed. Satan wants to see now. You know, you now whisper to your loved one. Can I have cruelty? <laughs> and you just said you were healed. Is it wrong to take crusine? I'm not a doctor. You ask the doctor. Yes, I'm not a doctor. I'm Apostle Edmonds. All right. Here the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says, out of what? Abundance, Abundance of the heart. Abundance of the heart. So we see people quarrel, they say strong words. Husband and wife quarreling. Useless man. The way he says it, huh? The man feels as though he's useless. <laughs> useless man. It's fellow, it's fellow feel. Huh? <laughs> the, way, the way he feels, you know, he feels he he's really useless. The, the way the wife said it, you, the way it's so the phonetic, so strong. He didn't say useless man simply. Useless man. The other fellow was so... Ah, 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 he, he doesn't know what to do. To kick first, blow first, slap. <laughs> Alright. So, how do we create words? Uh, we said we should go to there. Quickly, let's close up with that. That's my time is up. M Matthew chapter 12. Thank you. From verse 20, 35, right? Yes. Thank you. Can we read together one to go? And Jesus answered and said, While he taught in the temple, he saw the scribes uh, that Christ is son of David. Okay, 36. Uh, uh, am I reading? What? Okay, I'm reading Mark's gospel. One moment. Pardon. Matthew 12. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. 
Okay. Let's read from verse 34, saints. From verse 34. O generation of vipers, how can ye be even speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. This is, the, this is how words are created. Words are created out of what? Abundance of heart. But this generation, words are created out of feelings. Oh, so nice. What happened? He felt nice. Here he said, out of where? Abundance. Abundance of the heart. So did you see that girl? She's so pretty. How? It's feeling. Feeling. Vijay is so caring. Why? Bought flowers. <laughs> he brought flowers. <laughs> when you get into his hand, you find out flowers is not care at all. Anybody can buy flowers. Even beggars can buy flowers. It could be pitiable, but he can buy flowers. <laughs> Are you there? Anybody who possesses flowers is caring. Then you are getting in the hand of a drunkard soon. Because when his eyes open, he will get flowers. Then when he drinks, flowers will go behind him. Are you there? Yes. So he says here, out of what? Abundance, abundance of the heart. What <laughs> speaks? The mouth speaks? So until the heart is abundant, when mouth speak, is counterfeit words. Until heart is abundant, when mouth speak, is wasting time. When heart is abundant, when mouth speaks, it works. Whether positive or negative. See, how do Satan attack people? He put fear first. When fear is there, they speak fear. They get it. Hello? The fear there. And when the fear is there, they speak it. They get it. Oh, so how are we going to pay this loan? Hey, we're going to lose the house. You see? Fear is dead. Now they are speaking it. Soon they will lose the house. All right. He said this, then 35. Come. This is us. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bring it forth. This is how words are created. This is how your faith speaks. This is how things happen for you. This is how words make your life. Are you there? Yes. This is how words. He said, a good man out of a good treasure of the heart bringeth forth what? Good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. I was telling you about the boiling heart. You were laughing. But Jesus said it here. An evil man out of evil treasure bring out evil things. A good man out of a good treasure bring out good things. Jesus did not mismatch it. He didn't say a good man out of an evil treasure. Hello? A good man is not supposed to have an evil treasure. Many Christians have it mismatched. A good man, they have an evil treasure. What evil treasure? Fear. Fear. That's evil treasure. Hello? They may be saved, but in their heart, they are scared their marriage is not going to make it. They are scared their children are not going to make it in life. They are scared how will their finances turn out to be. What will happen to their future? They are scared of the future. So therefore, the word starts coming out of what kind of abundance? Fear. What kind of abundance? Fear. Then what will they have? This is how words are created. Now, this is why in the book of Proverbs 18, from verse 21, it says, Life and death. This is why he says so. He said, comes out from the tongue. But now, how does the tongue bring out life and death? It connects where? To the heart. It connects where? To the heart. See, this is the big one now. Quickly. Oh, my time is up. How to show you this now? Okay, let me try to use two minutes. This is the big one now. Look at verse 36. Look at verse 36. One to go. But I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Oh, I wish I can just do something in a moment in two minutes. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know what this account, this account is in two. Many people think this account, you go and stand in the front of the father. Father, I said to my husband, he's a foolish man. I said to my husband, that is no good, useless. I, I, I said to my husband, I, I said to my children, like this, like this, Father, forgive me. You stand in the throne of judgment like this and say, Father, this is how I, this is how I, 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 Good. But this is not only what this verse meant. I'll tell you what this verse meant. When we are born again, 
we are given knowledge of God's word, we know when we speak, we don't speak ordinary words. We should speak faith-filled words. We should speak faith-seasoned words. I call it tasty words. What? In the realm of the spirit, words are tasty or non-tasty. Non-tasty words are words built with fear. Tasty words are words of faith. Are you there? Are you there? Yes. Good. Now, he said you give account of it. What does this mean? Oh, I wish I had got my account that day. You would know. See, brother, come out. Keep your Bibles and come out. Let's, do, let's make an experiment. These, for example, these were the words taught him. He knows these things. He knows it. So he's been given to him after he got born again. Okay? After he got born again. But you know what you do? You just carelessly throw one over here and throw one over there and throw one. Just carelessly. Just throw it. Ah, very nice. You see? He's just careless. Fine. So now, what does he have? Does he have that which he was given? No. That is one. You give account in this life before seeing the Father. Now, how will he change the situation? Look at him. How will he change the situation? Open your hands. Anything there? No. How will he change the situation? Empty? Empty. He speaks dry. Are you there? Yes. Now, try to pick it fast, brother. Try to pick it up fast. I think on Sunday I told you that words are spiritual currency. I think I told you that. Okay. Now let's see this as spiritual currency. Okay. One is $1,000. In the spirit. In the spirit. is $1,000. Or let's say like one lakh rupees. Okay. And now. You have a need. For a wife. For example. He's not free. Okay. No single should not. <laughs> he has a need. You see that word is that dreaming. He, he has a need for a wife. Okay. He has a need for a wife. For example. Pull one out. Can one meet that need? Are you, are you sure? <laughs> Somebody said no. They are calculating the money. should be about six lakhs rupees. <laughs> so one thousand dollars cannot go. Not that way. This is spiritual currency. This is what? <laughs> a tiny part like this can even buy an estate. Because it's spiritual. Is what? Spiritual. Not physical currency. Okay. So, uh, uh, can one of these meet just the need of a wife? Yes. And it is out of what? Abundance. Abundance. It's not just uh, one. He uses one and nothing is there. No. The man's got abundance. This is the account. You will give account of the idle word you speak. It's not standing before the father. Only. Yes, that is true. That is true. In this life, the words are given to you. He said, greater is he. That is in you than he that is in the world. And here is the devil manifesting in front of you. You just take one of it. Right. You give it up. Get out. Correct. And here you, the word says that you know the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich for your sake he became poor. That you through his poverty might become rich. Ah, and you are facing lack. You just pull out that one. Correct. Yes. This is how you give account of the word. Hello. Yes. Using. How do we give account? When we use. Correct. You see, when we throw away, we give account? No. Let's give him a big God bless you. My time is up. Will you rise up on your feet, saints? Now, that's a great eye-opener for me. I don't know about you. You know, a lot of people look at the, the last day. In the last day, God is going to judge us. You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. DPS has been a wonderful blessing for us. Then speak up to speak up at this class. Actually, I had no clue what is BTS, okay? And uh, especially, I've learned so much that God we have to do the word. We have to say the word, meditate. It's changed my life. And I know from now onwards, I can go out into this world. Thank God for bringing Pastor Edmunds and Pastor Joanna to India. Basic training session. Here we believe in uh, God's word, so we believe in putting that word in our spirit because God is not waiting to give us blessings materialistically. 
but God is waiting to give us His Word into our spirits. So here we prepare you in this basic training to give the Word of God into your spirits. I know you are all hungry, you want to learn the Word, you have been looking for, for it in the Bible. We are plugged and focused into your revelation. Our hearts are open. Heal us today. Change us so we can be effective word changers. Hello, I'm Apostle Edmonds and I'm personally inviting you for 2014 BTS. It starts from 18th through to 1st of June 2014. Wherever you are coming from, we have made preparation for you. I want you to make it a date. Your life will never remain the same. Are you a pastor? Are you a housewife? Are you even a servant woman or something? Are you a student? I want to tell you that this BTS session is for you. One word from God will change your life forever. Block your seats now because we have limited seats available and registration closes May 11. Details are on the screen. Use it. Call now and register. Just 1,500 rupees. Your life will never remain the same. Call now. Use the details on your screen. Don't miss this edition of BTS 2014. God bless you. You know, a lot of people look at the, the last day. In the last day, God is going to judge us. How many of you have seen that scripture in that light before? That when you say you give account of it in the last day. No last day. Right here. Hello. For example, yeah. As you've been in church today, you have understood how words are created. And now you carry your holy body into your holy house and now said. Pastor, I don't know what is going on. Everywhere is strife. Who created? <laughs> what did you say? They said the wife? <laughs> devil. Oh, devil created. Oh, then get him arrested. If you can. Get him arrested if you can. You created away. Someone said devil. <laughs> oh, Lord God, have mercy. Next is a review of is this message. Of the human spirit to the world. You're watching Atmosphere of Love. Making a choice and standing in the realm of the Spirit, God is waiting on you. When I went through the four Gospels, there are certain things I saw. I saw Jesus behaved a certain way. I saw Jesus spoke a certain way. And these things... They play a very important role in my character. Why? Because I found out early that Jesus is the mirror of my God personality. God wants you to be like Jesus. You should easily, from that time onwards in your life, you should easily identify with who? Jesus. Why are people having a difficulty to stand on God's word? Why are Christians particularly? Because, I mean, no other person can... Uh, you can't talk about standing on God's word with a non-believer. Correct, saints? You can't, stand, you can't talk about that. You know? Particularly Christians. Why, why is it that it's difficult for people to stand on God's word? Why is it that people have, people have the habit of not, not, not able to trust God's word totally? So important for you to know today. Write it anyway. My words make my life. My connection does not make my life. Connection will come and go. My money does not make my life. Money will come and go. My wife does not make my life. Because wife will come and go. My husband does not make my, my life. Because husband will come and go. My relations does not make my life. They will come and go. Why do you mean they will come and go? They will stop exist sometime. Bible says the heaven and earth will pass away. But my word. Look at insurance. This is insurance for the believer. This is life insurance for the believer. The heaven and earth will what? Pass away. But my word will not pass away. Wonderful. This should hit you like a sharp knife. And let it remain there. Heaven and earth will pass away by my word. So those who don't build their lives with their word, they are building for scattering. They are building for destruction. 
Why? Anything that is built outside the world is built on the sand and will crash at the evil day. It will crash in the time of test. Everyone has a season of test. Every one of us. As a matter of fact, in the body of Christ right now, there's a very serious time for people. Evil day. Ephesians chapter 6 talked about the evil day. From verse 12 and 13. He said, put on the whole armor of God so that in the evil day you'll be able to stand. You'll be able to what? And one of the armor, he said, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. How will a soldier dress up so well, train for so many years, and now go to the battle without the gun? Or without the sword? We win battles with our words. We fight battles with our words. Why? Jesus already had a physical battle with Lucifer. We don't have physical battle anymore. We don't combat with hosts of darkness anymore. Now we fight what we call the fight of faith. And the fight of faith is a fight of words. If you cannot win your enemy with words, it's difficult to gain the victory spiritually. Learn to put on your faith in your words. Brother Kenyo call it solid front. Learn to put on a solid front. Learn to? Learn to put on a solid front. That's what you got. That's what you got. Take that spear out. That sword, pardon. Take that sword out. When situations seem to be terrible, take that sword out. Cut with it. When they are standing on the word of God, they are looking at the wrong thing. Is my husband changing? Let me see if he'll kiss me this morning. Is, is, my, is my children changing? Let me see if they will speak to me differently this morning. You are looking at the wrong place. When you are standing on God's word, you look at the right place. Him looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. When you are standing on the word of God, people look at the wrong place. Is the money coming now? How much is in the bank account? That is the wrong place. One of it we've seen now. They are looking at the wrong place. When they are standing on God's word, they are looking where? The wrong place. Like the man who wants to go propose and is asking, is her hair long? That's a wrong request. You have a long hair and you have long life of frustration. Long hair. Looking for hair. Long hair. You're asking, is her hair long? Oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> I pray you don't meet some long hair devils. Some Jezebel hair. You find out human being is not hair. Anyway, so people don't, cannot, cannot stand on the word of God. People cannot, why? Because, because, one, you see, they are looking at the wrong thing, the wrong place. They're looking at the wrong place. They're looking at the wrong place. They're looking at the wrong place. You know, where to be some Christians when the devil came and said, turn this stone to bread. And they said, uh, man shall not live by bread, but by every word, I proceed out of the mouth of God. If we were to be some Christians, after confessing, uh, They just confess now that man does not live by bread alone. Now their mind is in the wrong place. Where is the mind? The way they feel. How should we stand on the word of God? And why do Christians have such kind of an embarrassing experience with God's word? It's because of their words. It's because of their words. Jesus saw the tree. I won't go back to that because we spoke about it. He saw the tree and he said to the tree. Now we cannot break out what he said. What was running in Jesus through this statement. When Jesus was saying what he said. We can tell what was running inside of him. Through this statement. But shall believe what he says. So when he said no man will eat of you from now on. I know inside of his heart he believed it. Hello. Yes. He yes. believed it. He, true Christians must be people of words. True Christians must be people of words. It should not be people who throw words here and there, slip of tongue. So, what the, which chapter in the Bible told us about slip of tongue, sister? Which chapter in the Bible? These fashionable Christians, they are the ones bringing all those nonsense phrases. 
Why do you say that? I'll tell you. Fashionable Christians are those Christians who merge with the time. If it's 21st century, they merge with it. Hello and welcome to prayer session of Atmosphere of Love. We have been teaching you and we're featuring a program uh, during this series, Your Words. Your Words. And I believe you are blessed by it. I have it in my hands here. And if you call now, we'll send this for you for free. You didn't hear by mistake. If, we, if you call now, we'll send this to uh, disc, to DVD for you for free. For any donation you will give. Anything you give, we'll send this for you for free. It's, it's changed the lives of many people and we've been blessed by it. We've been, we've been wonderfully enriched by this truth. I want to pray for you. You have been speaking certain way in your life. You have been very indisciplined with your mouth. Lots of time when people come to us and when we interact with people, we get to know them through their words. Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. Jesus makes us understand that your mouth defiles you, not what goes into you that defiles you. You can speak your way to success. You can speak your way to hell. You can speak your way out of your marriage. You can speak your way into your marriage. It depends on what you're speaking. Let me pray for you. <clears throat> Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for everyone under the influence of the teaching of your words and whatever we have featured right now and giving to them the truth, your undiluted words. I speak in Jesus Christ's name. Every word that you have spoken over your children, Every word you have spoken over your life that has trapped you, that has bound you. This moment I speak as a man sent from God to release you. Let there be freedom in Jesus' name. Every word spoken that has entrapped you, put you in bondage, I release you from it. As you have learned and known the truth, you repent and you start speaking words of faith and words of love. Be released in Jesus' name, in your body. Be released in Jesus' name, in your finances. Be released in Jesus' name, in your family. Be released in Jesus' name. I command a release in your life, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. If you prayed with us, I believe God has done something in your life. You can write us. The announcer will give you the number and the details will be displayed at the close of the program. You write us and tell us what great things God has done in your life. When we share one testimony, others believe God and they can do the same thing and they can receive the same thing. Till we come your way in our next program, which is tomorrow, this is Apostle Edmond saying to you that Jesus is Lord. Hello, I'm Apostle Edmonds and I'm personally inviting you for 2014 BTS. It starts from 18 through to 1st of June 2014. Wherever you are coming from, we have made preparation for you. I want you to make it a date. Your life will never remain the same. Are you a pastor? Are you a housewife? Are you even a servant woman or something? Are you a student? I want to tell you that this BTS session is for you. One word from God will change your life forever. Block your seats now because we have limited seats available and registration closes May 11. Details are on the screen. Use it. Call now and register. Just 1,500 rupees. Your life will never remain the same. Call now. Use the details on your screen. Don't miss this edition of BTS 2014. God bless you. Thank you for watching Atmosphere of Love. We know you have been blessed. To partner with us, use the details now showing on the screen. Jesus is Lord.